Okay, here's how to copy videos to your iPhone. First off, launch a new Finder window. Then find where the movies that you want to copy are. They could be in one of several places. One place to look is on your local, fold, uh, local folders under Movies. You'll see in here some stuff that's on your local computer, or you might have some on your Rebel Drive, which would be up here under your devices. You just have to browse around until you find the movie that you want, or if you don't know where it is, you can always come up here into the search box and type in the name of what you're looking for, and it will find it. It's easiest if you look for file name and if you tell it where to look on this Mac, and then it will find the names of the movies or files that have that in it, and you just have to kind of look down the list to identify this is the one I'm looking for. If you look down here, it'll tell you where that object is located. You can either just use it from here or you can move into that folder directly if you wanted to find all the other things that were similar to it. So this is telling me it's in my movies folder. I'm going to click on my movies folder. I can scroll down. I can see my push. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the finder window off to the side here just so that the file name is showing up because that's going to be helpful later. Then I'm going to launch iTunes. Once iTunes comes up, I'm going to want to move it so that I can see this portion of the finder still available. So if your iTunes is too big or too small and it's obscuring the screen, just move it a little bit, grab the little bottom corner down here where you see the little lines, and resize it so that you can see the name of your movie in the finder window over here. You can see your iTunes here. By default, it's going to show up with a little music library. What you want to do is you want to look under Devices and in here you'll see any of your other external devices. Now if your iPhone is plugged into the dock, you'll already see it showing up. If it's not, go ahead and plug it in. I just plugged mine in. It'll take a second or two for it to recognize it and mount it over here in the devices. Once it does that, you'll see it pop up and show that the device is recognized. It usually takes about five or ten seconds. Now you can see it showed up. If I click on the phone itself, It'll give me a summary of everything that's on the phone. It'll show me how much free space I have. If you click on the movies, you'll see all the movies that are currently on there. If you click on TV shows, it'll show you the TV shows that are there. The difference between them is not really important. All that means is TV shows are grouped together in one menu. Movies all just show up in one big menu. It'll only show up as a TV show if I've marked it that way for you. Okay, if you don't want something on your iPhone anymore, you can click on the thing you don't want anymore, hit the delete button, and it will remove it from there for you. Then, if you want to copy something onto your iPhone, go over here to your Finder window where you left the, uh, the movie that you want, click on it, drag it over here into the movies section, you see the little um, yellow orange border, drop it, and then what you'll see is the copying process starts. Depending on how big the file is, it'll take a couple of seconds. If there's not enough room, it'll give you a warning message that there's not enough room on there for it to fit. Okay, you wait for the movie to finish copying. When it does, you'll see it turns from gray here to black, and you'll see the little message here disappears. It may also do some other synchronizing of the phone at the same time when it's done with this. Wait for it to finish copying, and then we're going to eject the phone, and you should see the movie on the phone. Give it another second or two. See it's still copying. Okay, it's almost done. Now it's doing some additional syncing. That could take a few seconds. It's completely done. Now you can either just remove the phone from the dock or you can hit the eject button, which is the cleaner way to do it. And then it'll remove it. You can then unplug the phone and do whatever you like with it.